So I want to um, actually be honest with you guys. I'm not being paid to review this item. I found it on a site called snagshout.com, which gives you coupons if you sign up for free um, to get products on Amazon for really cheap. So um, this item was $32.99, and I ended up with the Snagshout coupon code, paying $13.19 for this podcast microphone. So it just arrived. Um, let's check out actually what it looks like in person. Sorry, I'm filming my computer screen, but um, this is actually, I can't do it with uh, OBS because you can't stitch videos together. All right, so let's check it out and unbox it and see what this $32.99 microphone looks like. All right, so this is what the box that it comes in looks like. Now, I'm a little surprised because in the pictures, it did look like it was much bigger, but um, so it's um, a microphone for recording, chat, and a karaoke song and video conference. Um, so I bought myself a pop filter because in the pictures it did not show that there was a pop filter. And uh, it did not arrive yet. So let's see. Um, what are the specs on it? I'm really not good with specs, but it has a frequency of 20 HZ or 20 KHZ. Um, sensitivity decibel level is 37 decibel plus two decibel, don't know what that means. Output is 150 something, don't know what those symbols stand for. As you can tell, I'm a moron when it comes to electronics. It has, uh, it says, I don't know if that's 1465 or 465 high sensitivity vibration condens condenser. It's actually a cardioid. And uh, let's see, any other information? that might be interesting about this. Um, it says Omni 9765 condenser, 50 HZ frequency response. Yeah, we just saw that. Okay, cable length, um, 1.8 meters. Don't know what that means because I'm a feet person, if you know what I mean. No, not a foot fetish. Okay, it has a 1.5 um, millimeter or USB plug. And a 3.5, okay, so a 3.5, um, I think, millimeter, like headphone type of jack. Okay, so here's what the features are. Uh, it says for chatting, singing, and uh, basically, you know, Skype and stuff like that. 3.5 stereo plug or USB plug. Oh, okay, so it has both. Fit for all kinds of PC. Um, noisy cancellation, I guess they meant noise cancellation. High quality mic. Perfect voice recorder. They meant to say perfect. Okay, so already we know <laughs> that they haven't mastered English. Okay, conveniently set with the help of a stand. It does come with a stand. Um, high performance, uh, plug in, start recording, no extra gear needed. Works with any USB equipped computer. Um, also, anything with a headphone jack. So if you have a phone with a headphone jack, you could attach it to your phone which is what I'm looking to do because my um, old four-year-old or five-year-old Samsung, actually my, my phone was from 2018, 18, 19, 20, 20 yeah, four years old. Um, it's the microphone is just starting to um, peter out on it. Like when I film videos and I listen to them on YouTube, it sounds awful. Um, it is a four-year-old uh, phone and the internal mic is probably going. It has a foldable desktop mic stand that's adjustable at different angles. All right, so let's open it and let's check it out. What did I get myself for $13.19? Now, would I pay $32.99 for it? That is the question. And I don't know So because I didn't look at it yet. All right, let's check it out. And hallelujah, unbelievable, I spent money I didn't need um, because it does come with a wind guard or a pop filter. Um, it's a little, you know, dented and what have you, but what do you want? All right, so here's the plugs. Okay, already I'm actually impressed with the thickness of the plugs. Um, it does come with an adapter, so you can attach your headphones. It's a 3.5 millimeter, by the way. You can attach your uh, headphones that have a 3.5 millimeter um, plug into this little uh, jack, I guess. And then this side, the microphone attaches to the pink side. Um, the cord is actually here, is actually thick. I'm very, very impressed with that, okay? So this part would plug into the microphone um, and it attaches into it, all right? Let's check out um, 
the stand that it comes with. And I'm trying to do this with one hand and film with the other, so it's not going to be the most high-quality video. Okay, it has some heft to it, which is actually great. It is feeling like it's made out of plastic. Um, I would like it much better if it was metal. Okay, so the thread you can see on the top is plastic. This is rose gold, and I love rose gold. Um, that's a great color. All right, let's take the mic out and uh, check out what it looks like. Now, it is actually smaller than I expected. Um, yeah, it is actually smaller than I expected. I thought it was going to be larger in the photos. It did look larger. But this is actually good um, if you need something portable and you don't want something taking up too much room. All right, so here it is. Um, actually, hold on. Okay, it's not very heavy, but it's not too light, if you know what I mean. But it is lightweight. Um, there we go. And here is it in reference to the size of my hand. Um, hold on. Okay, so, oops, this almost rolled off. Okay, so as you can see, it's not that big. Now, I was thinking of mounting this to my car dashboard. Um, on the bottom, you can attach something called Museum Putty, which will actually adhere something um, to anything, even to a wall. And uh, it can come right off without damaging whatever you attach it to very easily. So I was thinking of museum puttying this to my dashboard in my car and doing podcasts. Um, you know, have a better mic attached to my cell phone. So let's set it up. I'm going to actually screw this into here and then, uh, you know, bend out the legs. And let's see what this whole entire thing looks like. Then I am going to attach it to my cell phone and we're going to hear how it sounds when you attach it to an Android phone. You can also, I believe, attach it to an i uh, I mean an Apple or an iPhone, but I think you might need a jack adapter or whatever you call that, you know, some kind of adapter for it. All right, let's go. And I can't shut this thing off. Okay, so I it took 2 seconds. I just screwed it in and tightened it. And uh this actually you can walk around with if you're doing um outdoor podcasts um actually you know um if you're live streaming or filming outdoors you could actually walk around with this in your hand if you're interviewing people um have it attached to your phone um it does not take uh up that much room as you can see here um so you can actually like mount it somewhere possibly on the dashboard of your car i'm going to bend out the legs a second and uh let's see how that works and hang in there one second and this is not really a professional video, but, you know, if you're deciding whether or not you want to buy this thing, um, this might help you. All right, so it does come with a user manual. Um, it shows you how to attach it to your PC, to your phone, tablet, or Xbox installation. Um, it also has a Windows 7, 8, and 10 installation with a 3.5 millimeter um, jack. We have, um, yeah, okay, so we have all sorts of uh, installation information. Um, here's uh, to attach it to, again, a Windows device or iOS installation. There we go. Um, it does have a video on the actual product page. It has Android, by the way, also. Um, it does have a video on the product page showing you how to also install it. All right, and let's check it out. All right, so I have it uh, just sitting on top of my counter. And as you can see, I'll put my hand next to it so you can, you know, sort of get an idea about the size um, the stand is actually very sturdy, has little rubber bottom pieces so it doesn't slide across your desk. Again, the cord is very, very uh, high quality, actually. I'm quite surprised. And there we go. Here, it's, uh, it's attached to the microphone here, this way. Um, it does have this adapter, so you can attach it with the 3.5 millimeter. I do not see a USB cord. So it did not come with the USB cord. So it's only 3.5 millimeter um, jack um, that you can attach this microphone to. So if you think um, it's a USB uh, plug and play microphone, that is not what it is. I don't know if you can get some kind of adapter, a 3.5 millimeter um, adapter to USB-C or USB um, and attach it to this. I don't know. Now, um, if you look on the top here, it has uh, a little toggle uh, for on and volume and then for off. So you can, uh, you know, if you lower it all the way down, it goes off. And if you uh, click it, 
it goes in the on position. Actually, nope, it's not, there's no, oh yeah, there is a volume adjustment. Okay, so if you roll it all the way up towards the plus, you can make it at the highest level. Um, it actually is quite nice looking. Let's see if it can tilt. Yes, it can tilt. And you can have it tilt. And these only, um, yeah, like a 90 degree, well, not even a 90 degree position. Um, it doesn't go all the way straight up and down. Um, yeah, okay, so hold on, let's check this out. So it can only go in this position or this position. But uh, that's uh, actually not a bad position at all. Let's check out what it looks like with the included like pop filter or wind guard, whatever you call these things. Let's uh, put that on and we'll check out what this looks like. Okay, I will tell you something. You may want to get um, a different pop filter. Um, this actually has a very, very small opening and it is very, very hard. As you can see, it barely, barely fits. You're going to have to stretch it and pull on it to get it over here and you might end up ripping it. It's very thin and I'm having an issue actually already getting this on here. Okay, after re uh, wrestling and actually struggling with it, I finally got it on. The trick is when you're placing it on, you have to hold your index finger right in the center and with the other hand, tug it slowly and go around it slowly and pull it down very, very, very gently until finally it'll fit over the uh, microphone. Otherwise you're gonna end up tearing it. I will warn you right now, you have to be very, very gentle with it. All right, let's test it out. I'm gonna connect it to my phone and you're gonna hear the difference between the way I'm speaking right now and then with the microphone attached. Okay, so the phone is not plugged in right now. I mean, the uh, microphone is not plugged into my phone right now. I'm using my regular voice. Here's the issue. It does have this adapter. So one end you attach to your headphones with a 3.5 millimeter jack and the other end attaches to the microphone. And then you have a splitter that attaches into your phone. Now, when you unhook the headphones and the splitter piece and just want to plug this part in, um, just the actual microphone into your Android or whatever device you're using, you may have an issue. As you can see here, my cell phone case has this little piece of plastic that like juts out. So this is too wide to plug the jack in all the way into my cell phone. Um, that is just the profile of that will not plug into the uh, port because of this piece jutting out. So, uh, yeah, I, I had to take the whole case off of my phone, which is a pain in the ass. Now, when I um, use the adapter, it actually does actually fit into the port and plug in all the way. I didn't realize that, so I took the case off, and uh, what a pain in the ass. So if you're um, thinking about plugging it into your phone and you have, like, a case with a certain kind of, uh, you know, piece sticking out, I don't know if you could see that, and, of course, it's not going to focus, but yeah, there you go. If you have, you know, where you can't fit this into that little hole over here, um, you're not going to be able to do it. Now, another thing I notice is that when I do plug this in to my phone, it does say that I'm using a microphone, like an external microphone. But even with the uh, headphones plugged into this end of the jack where they're supposed to be actually plugged in, you can see the headphone um, insignia, you do not hear the audio at all through your headphones. So you don't even know if the microphone is on. And so I had no idea whatsoever that it's on. Now I do have it at full volume, the toggles all the way up. I am going to plug it in right now and speak through it. And we're going to see if there's a difference. Um, let's uh, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the 3.5 millimeter jack on my phone. And here we go. You ready? One, a two, a one, two, three. Okay, so now I am speaking through the microphone. My mouth is one inch from the microphone and I cannot hear anything. It sounds like the microphone is not even on. Um, even with headphones, you will not hear your audio go through the headphones. Now, when you play back on your phone, you will be able to hear the audio, you know, the audio through the headphones, but not when you're recording. Now, I don't know if that's different. If you attach it to a PC, you may be able to hear the audio um, through your headphones, but not on the phone. It's not working on my Samsung Note 9. Um, okay, so how do I sound? Testing, one, two, three, four. Now, I do have the foam uh, spit guard over the microphone. Um, so Peter Piper picked 
peck, uh, I always do this wrong. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. One, two, three, four. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, ten, four, big buddy. I don't know. <laughs> do I sound uh, louder and clearer with the microphone attached to my phone? I have no clue because I can't hear myself right now. No, I'm going to unplug it. And what I am going to do is I am going to talk through my regular cell phone internal microphone in three, two, one. Okay, so now I unplugged it, as you can see here. The only way you'll get it to plug into a cell phone with a certain kind of case that has this little piece that juts out is with this adapter that it comes with. Um, but I am speaking now through my cell phone's internal microphone. Now I'm going to plug it in one more time, and uh, we're going we're gonna to actually see if it sounds clearer and louder. All right, I have it at full volume, by the way. All right, let's go. And sorry you can't see what I'm actually doing right now. Okay, so now the microphone is plugged into my phone. I don't know if you hear me louder. My verdict, it's a very nice looking microphone, although very light and plastic. It is not metal like a lot of the better quality made microphones. Um, if you need it for basically using it for Skype or just for um, regular voice, not singing. Um, it's not gonna be a great rapping mic or um, sing song mic or karaoke mic. Um, if you wanna do podcasts, but don't wanna have the most expensive, uh, highest quality audio equipment, this might work. It actually probably will work on your PC or through your phone. Um, you can use it, I guess, if you wanna record outdoors as well. If you get like one of those uh, fuzzy windsock type of, uh, little attachments to go over the microphone, which I ordered actually for it. Um, my verdict at $32.99, I don't think this microphone is worth $32.99. I do think it's worth $25 or less. Um, if you want to pay $32.99, you could probably find a lot of microphones that, um, actually include a USB plug-in as well, which is something that I would rather see on a microphone, a USB plug-and-play with a 3.5 millimeter jack option as well um, for $32.99. You could probably find a lot of other microphones out there that actually have those features. Um, is it the best out there? The answer is no. But if you want something inexpensive and, uh, you, know, and you just need it to attach to a 3.5 millimeter port, um, using the little, um, you know, uh, cl uh, cord they include with the 3.5 millimeter jack or port or whatever you want to call it. Okay. It's okay. But $32.99, I think they're pushing it. They do offer sometimes a 10% off coupon, which you'll get like $3.29 off of it. Then you got to pay tax. So it's still $32.99 basically. Um, again, my verdict is it's not horrible. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. It is nice looking, but uh, it's very lightweight, plasticky, and toy-like. It's more of a toy, but I don't know. Let's listen to my voice, and let's see if it sounds better than my phone's internal microphone. Again, I'm going to unplug it, and I am going to talk to you through my cell phone's internal mic. And I just unplugged it, and I don't know if I sound any different. Uh, you tell me in the comments below, do I sound different? Now I'm going to plug it back in and speak very close into the microphone. Let's go ahead and do that. And a one and a two and a three. Okay, I'm speaking actually far away from it right now. Can you hear me? Um, I'm, a, I'm about uh, 10 to 12 inches away from the microphone. Now I'm going to put my mouth close to it. Hello, testing one, two, three, four. Now far away from it again. Testing one, two, three, four. Now I'm really far away from it. Can you hear me? Uh, Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Ten four, big buddy. Uh, five by five. Now I'm going to put my mouth within about an inch or two from it. Hello. Ten four, big buddy. Five by five. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Now my mouth, as you can see, is nowhere near it. You tell me in the comments below. Do you hear me better? Do you hear me better? Now my mouth is one inch from it. Do you hear me better than my cell phone's internal mic? That's uh, actually for you to decide. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon. So long.